Welcome back to AM Northwest. If your financial plan is based on winning the lottery, uh -oh. <laughs> you may have a problem. So here to share some simple ways to attract more money into your life, we welcome back numerologist and feng shui expert, Sunita Satara. Good to have you nice back to be again, back. Sunita. It's good to be back. Yes. Thank oh, sorry. you. Shake your hand. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yes, thank okay, you. so one of the first things you say is to never place your purse on the floor. And why is that? No, because money will just get sucked away. And that's just, and not only that, you really don't want to do that. There's so many germs on the floor. I've seen women put their purses down in the bathroom, and you shouldn't do that. Never put it on the floor. Never, I never. I think that's wise. Yeah. And as a germaphobe, that makes sense. Yeah, I never yes. put my purse on the floor. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you put your fanny pack on the floor? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Keep your wallet clutter-free and bills, your, your, your money in numeric order. order. Why is that yes. important? It's really, I mean, that is respectful towards your money, keeping it in ones, fives, tens, twenties. And just, I always just straighten out my money. I, if you just wad it up and put it around in different places, then that is being disrespectful towards and, and And why keep your wallet clutter free? Well, because then there's room for more money to come in. Oh, oh there you go. It's that simple. So it's take the business the cards out. Take the, and, never, and never carry someone else's business card in your wallet. Really? Never. Uh -oh. You don't want someone else's financial energy in your wallet. I only have the business cards of my hmm. doctors, and they seem to be doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> Probably doesn't count. <laughs> no, you don't really know how ethical someone is with their money. Ah, interesting. So okay. you don't want that energy mixing up with your energy. All right, good. Just uh, put it in a in a card file. Okay. You know, someone else's. You say, and I've never heard of this before, but never give change. No, never what do, do you that. Mean? Well, it's a very, very easy way to save money. If you give a dollar bill or five dollar bills or whatever, then whatever, whatever change you get, I put it in a jar at the end of the month, I put that money in a savings account, and then I buy stocks that give dividends. So, mm -hmm. so you take your change, you save your change and invest that. Yes. So if you go to buy something that costs $3.28, you won't give them 28 cents? I don't. No. Oh, interesting. It's an easy way to save money. It's a very easy way to save, now, save money. Wow. This yes. next tip is one that Helen right. now promises she's going to do. Yes. And it, and it seems easy for everybody, and that is place nine coins under your doormat by the front door. Why? Yes, that will bring money in. This is a really simple way of doing it. You can have quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies, and every so often change them out. So it's a really great thing. I usually do it about once a month. I take the ones that were in there, and I put new ones Why under. do you change them out? I think it's just good to go ahead and change the energy out because uh, you, you really want to always move things around because that's stagnant energy and even that can get stagnant. And so, why the number nine? The number nine is a great, it's the completion number. There's no number higher than nine. Oh, okay. You know, I, I mean, 21 right. is three, you know, you okay. add, add them all together. So nine is the highest number and it's a lucky number also. Okay. You also say uh, the place a water fountain by the front door yes which is interesting yes because water signifies money also so but make sure that the water is flowing towards your house so that it's flowing towards you the money is flowing towards you and not the water fountain facing away from your house and, and you also say fix any water leaks in your house yes because water is in an is synonymous with money so if you have a silent leak, that means money is just slipping through your feet. Oh, well, that makes a whole lot of Doesn't sense. Doesn't it? Yeah. Because, I mean, really, you are paying for the water right. also. and it's leaking, so get yes. that fixed. Yes. Um, okay, you say keep the stove clean. Yes, because the stove is also a money generator, so you need to make sure that your stove is not only clean, but it's also in good working order. If you have one burner that's not working, that means your, uh, your ability to... Uh, Bring in income is diminished by 25 percent. Interesting. Huh. Because and you, have, you, you have the red pouch with you. Yes, and I that, do. That's not by accident. No. What's in there? There's 27 shiny. They're not new, but they're just shiny mm -hmm. pennies. And so you, you put 27 pennies, pennies in a red, shiny pennies in a red okay. pouch. You can do it in a red envelope or you can do it in a red piece of cloth. I just happen to have this wonderful red pouch and then you can look up the Bhagwa map on my website and put it in oh, and there. And we have it there. So where is the in where is the, the well? In the far left corner of your home 
which will be your financial area. Put this. This lives in my financial corner. So that's uh, that's my stairway going into the. Well, no, that's my basement. So okay, oh, I have to look at that again and figure it out. It's my TV room. That's okay. what it is. So, so in that corner. Every just, room is a TV room for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll put it in my TV room as well. And, and what does that do for you? Again? This also, it's kind of like seed money, you know? So have you heard of the concept of seed money? Yeah. Where you kind of have something and then it, it's a metaphor for this will grow. Oh, I like interesting. It. All good tips. Sonita, All good thank tips. you so much. You're Always welcome. Fun. Thank you.